Now I got interrupted there for a minute and I don't remember what I left off on. But I did find the other cufflink. Aren't these gorgeous? These are really nice. I don't, uh, I don't see a maker's mark anywhere, but a nice, it's nice, always nice to have the pair of cufflinks. Here's a little ceramic angel brooch, angel playing a piccolo or a flute or something, handmade um, from ceramic. It's kind of cute. Here's a couple of uh, hair barrettes. Gimme on trend. One looked to like tortoise shell and one looks like, one's just black. They're quite large. Uh, new on, two of them new on the card. That's good. Here's another pin. This one says CLCA 1968 um, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Gosh, this is old. See Canadian, see oh Canadian Ladies Curling Association. That's a curling stone. And the flower is uh, the Manitoba Provincial Flower, 1968. Well, that goes back a ways. I guess curling collectors might uh, collect that kind of stuff. Um, an interesting pair of earrings. I'm glad both of them are there. It's always nice when there's something unusual like this. The sort of the textured um, enameling. But isn't that a pretty, pretty uh, plaque in itself? I don't see any marks on the backs. But um, not sure if I'd wear them as earrings or if I'd... Uh, Make them into a couple of pendants. Certainly pendant worthy, but a very nice pair of earrings. So that makes the pair of one, two, three, four, five pairs of earrings. And here's another pair of earrings. Where did the, I saw them too. Oh, here we go. So these are tarnished as if they were silver, but they're not marked. I think we can look back. See how they look, they look tarnished like silver. Unless there's some spot that I didn't think to look. And the, certainly the posts are not marked. I don't think that's a postmark, is it? Oh, that little tiny thing there might say 925. Let's, I don't know if I can do this. We'll zoom it up as high as it can go. Gosh. Am I just dreaming? Look at, you can see the things you can see at eight times magnification. Well, it could be a five. Let's see if the other one has something. I bet they'll test out his 925. Yeah, it has a mark there as well. Sorry, all you can see is my uh, dirty fingernails. That one. Don't see marks anywhere else. There's where you put the, cl the clutch on. And then further down from that is that mark there, which I would have thought was the, would have been where you would see the sterling mark. So let's zoom back out. Definitely going to test these for sterling. Look at how beautifully set they are with prongs look at the shine they are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous if that's true if if these all test that'll be four pieces of sterling in this one jar haven't had i don't know if i've ever had that much sterling in a jar certainly i don't i can't remember ever having that many pieces these are cute little uh sort of faux cloisonne they feel like some kind of plastic with the w w wire on them come on focus focus there, well, I got droppy fingers today. There we go. Those are cute, inexpensive. I don't know what I'd keep them, if I'd, what I'd use them for, if anything. But a nice, another pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight pairs of earrings so far. And another pair. These are, again, pretty little stones, not anywhere near as shiny as those other ones. Though maybe just need to be cleaned. They're in a gold tone sort of brashish, brash, brassish kind of uh, setting. Um, well, that looks, they look pretty good there. Nothing, there's some verdigris on the back, so I think it's more brass copper than anything else, but I don't see any marks. But again, another pair can be cleaned up. This is cute. Well, just a little butterfly. Um, no maker's mark, but a cute little lapel pin. As I said, lots of lapel pins in this. Uh, here's a little thing in a package. It's a little spring ring charm of a swallow. There, of a swallow. And it's got a cute little rhinestone eye. So that's nice. Um, here's a pair of earrings, great big pair of hoops. I didn't look to see if they would have any marks. They're kind of greenish, kind of copperish. Um, don't really know what we'll do with those besides clean them. And there's this. And then once again, we have, uh, well, we don't. This time we don't. I was going to say we had another, we'd have another barrel class, but this is just a, oh. Is there a number on that? Looking at. That sure looks like it says 2-5. So let's open that up. Does that say 9-2-5? Well, it certainly looks like 2-5. Well, there's a clasp. So there's a clasp worth testing. It's just on a, a coated cord, but it's a nice looking clasp. And if it were sterling, that would be even better. I don't see a mark on the other half of it. So it could just be that it's the, the lobster part, the lobster claw that's silver. Well, we'll test it. And it's... Um, a well-worn, a well-cracked uh, piece of leather. The coating, the stiff coating is cracked, but it has this lovely glass pendant on it. It's uh, definitely pretty glass, so that's worth uh, repurposing. We have a rhinestone necklace. There's a bit of everything in here. I can't believe it. I'm excited when there's so much cool stuff. Look at that. Really nice. The... The square emerald cut, as some may call it, or marquee. I can't remember. If it's, I know emerald cut is one of the, the names of it. Comes up all the way to a fold-over clasp with no markings on that side. No markings on that side. We'll clasp it back up. Quite short, but not really. 18 inches. So nice, pretty. I would say this is vintage. Nice prong, some nice prong set rhinestones. Oh wow. For some reason they saved all the best till the end here. Here's uh, one earring. We'll put it off to the side. Oh, here's here's a piece of coated wire. Just doesn't belong in a jewelry jar. Here's another one of those necklaces with the lobster with the the lobster claw with the barrel clasp added. So uh, I mean, I guess it's this one would be easy enough just to unclip it, just like that, and then you just have two lobsters, and it's. A chain of a, a flat woven chain with with a sort of pseudo Celtic cross on it not sure which is the front and which is the back there's that side 
And then there's this side. No markings. So interesting. I'll figure out what to do with that. Um, here's a wooden laser cut on a gold chain with a lobster claw grasp. I haven't uh, found one of these before. Is it missing its ring? Oh no, it's got a little tiny ring. So that's kind of cute. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very lightweight. I guess it would be easy to wear. I don't think it would... It's not rough or anything, so it would be quite nice against the skin. That's something different, very modern. Um, there's this. This is not jewelry. It just says, Happy Everything. It's a little molded bowl, and it says... Oh, gosh. Maybe we can figure out the name. It looks like some kind of pewter. Canada. If we zoom in some more, do you think it would help? I don't think so. Well, we zoom back out and see if... I have no idea. Something, something that's definitely... If it's anything at the bottom, it's C-A-N-A-D-A, -A -A, but something craft, maybe? All right, I'll have to have to look that up. That's kind of cute. That would be nice with, you know, where's those earrings? Those cute little earrings that would fit nicely in that bowl. Anyway, okay. All right, a couple of um, earring backs. Don't think they have anything on them. What else have we got here? Um, oh, here's a pin. It has lost a lot of color. It's lost one of these someone has created an abomination and covered them with nail polish so i will be cleaning them off since we've already lost one and it's not worth spending a lot of time with but it would be nice to see what they would have looked like originally um Nice vintage piece, well, obviously well loved and worn, and someone tried to sort of keep it looking nice, but my nail polish doesn't cut it. I might be able to put some other glass stones on there, repaint it. So, interesting vintage piece. Um, this piece is broken. It's, uh, oh, I guess it's a magnetic tube clasp. Um, it's got a pendant on it of some kind of metal. It looks like just melted aluminum, but you can see here at the top, more obvious than this side, that the loop that hung that it was used to hang it from the cord is broken so they've just stuck it on the cord and I don't know if we can get that to come ah come right out so that can get something done with it this can be saved for the kids jewelry there's this um oh a p it's my name pat from Passions and Pastimes. What does it say in the back here? P 
Sakura Vida Bracelets. Okay. Um, guess it's adjustable and it's not P for me. It's just a little wax cord bracelet, teeny tiny. There's no way, no way it was teeny. Here's another cord bracelet. It says, be happy. Oh, well, that's a nice sentiment. We all should, uh, try to be happy if we can't be happy we could uh pretend i don't know if we can't be happy then we need to find some ways to bring joy into our life one of those ways i find joy is looking at all this cool jewelry so there's a nice little um oval i would probably repurpose this and up make the bracelet more upscale an illusion necklace I got it tangled up with that uh, glass piece. Um, lobster claw clasp. These are interest. This is an interesting color wire. It's actually, yeah, it's like a copper coated wire. Three strand plastic beads. There's some nice. These are nice colors. Let's make some more space here to show this. So it's nice colors. So I could see somebody and really enjoying this. I would donate this on because they're, they're plastic beads. They're lightweight. Um, not worth it for me to take it apart and re try to do anything with it. There's just too few beads involved. Um, you know, glass is in good shape, but clasps. I don't really need to repurpose clasps at this point. Not sure what this is. We had a pin earlier that looked like some kind of Olympic torch thing with uh, for medicine. Here's another kind of torch relay or something pin. So I'll have to see if I can find out what that represents. There is this pin. A R C A C. Hmm. Acer, Acer, Por. Ace, Acer, Pori. Made in Taiwan. I wonder if this has got anything to do with curling, like that other pin. I have to look it up. See what A C E R. It looks like it. Um, looks like it could be French. And then I think this is our last piece. Let me just uh, check around to see. Um, yeah, I guess it is. So this is a lovely um, dichroic glass pendant um i love the blue i love the green in it that's a really vibrant green with the blue and the gold on uh, the navy background it uh comes on one of these sort of multi-string ribbon um necklace necklaces and i will i will definitely take that apart and try to repurpose it um with beads because I think I, I because I personally like them much better that way and I've been successful doing that with quite a few of them so even though this is very wearable as it is it's not that easy to clean I mean you can wash it but it I don't know over time how it's much it's going to stand up it doesn't even feel like anybody's ever worn this 
Um, and I just happen to think that these look, these glass pendants look so much better with um, beaded chains or beaded necklaces. So that's a lot of stuff. This is, um, I think, one earring all on its lonesome. So uh, put it in the repurpose pile. And let's see which ways it's supposed to hang. Oh, it is. That's odd. Okay. Oh, maybe not. All the diamonds in the front there. Well, I don't know what else to say. Uh, interesting things in this jewelry jar. That's just way too heavy. But I will... And this is not jewelry. This is not jewelry. This is not jewelry, but, you know, it's a plastic. It's sort of useful. Uh, it does a not too bad job of magnifying things to a certain extent. A couple little things to repair. Um, I might get ambitious and count up how many necklaces and how many uh, bracelets were in all, uh, the jar altogether. But for... Um, the weight of the jar, what did we say? Four pounds, something? Uh, pretty amazing. And uh, I had a grand time. I hope you did too. Thanks for watching. Uh, bring your friends. <laughs> it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. Bye for now.